Today's book is called Whistle for Willie, written by Ezra Jack Keats. She is the writer of the book. She put the words in the book. She's also the illustrator that drew these fantastic photos. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. And there's Peter, he's standing by the step sign. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the dog whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead he began to turn himself around and around. He whirled faster and faster. When he stopped, everything turned down and up, and up and down and around and around. Peter saw his dog, Willie coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled, Peter thought. Willie would stop and look all around to see who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but still he couldn't. So Willie just walked on. Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalk out of his pocket and drew a long, long line. There's the chalk line. He even went around the girls jumping rope. There's the barber pole. He went right up to his door. He stood there and he tried to whistle again. He blew till his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. He went into his house and put on his father's old hat to make himself feel grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, why, no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for him then, said Peter. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. Then he tried to run away from his shadow. And if you see here, he is tiptoeing and his shadow is behind him. He jumped off of his shadow, but then he landed. They were together again, so he jumped up and he landed back on top of it. He came to the corner where the carton was, and who could he see but Willie? Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and he blew and he blew. Suddenly, out came a real whistle. Willie stopped and he looked around. Who was it? It's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight to him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there, and he whistled all the way home. The end. So at the end of the story, whistle for Willie. He learned how to do it. Can you whistle? Bye.